Hey, my name is Josh Thomas. I'm the host at WeFolder.com, and today we're going to be jumping into some Super Monkey Ball Step and Roll on the Wii. We're going to be taking a look at five of the brand new mini games in the title. I do want to point out that I actually thought the mini games in Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz were terrible. I really didn't like any of them. But now here in Step and Roll, there are quite a few that are fun, and I think many people will play them over and over again. I'm going to be demonstrating things with the Wii Balance Board controls. Of course, if you don't have the board, you can still play these minigames with the Wii Remote or Wii Remote and Nunchuck. <coughs> Alright, first up we're going to be taking a look at the minigame Skydiving. This one is really fun. It's actually maybe uh, my favorite of all 21 of the minigames. Basically, players are free falling from the sky and you have to line your monkey up with the monkey formations below you. The balance board controls are just a simple matter of standing on the board and shifting your weight to the left, right, and then if you want to nosedive you'll tilt forward and if you want to pull back up obviously you lean backwards. As you can see, once you've balanced yourself in the silhouette area of the formation for about three seconds, you'll earn points based on how fast you were able to line yourself up. Without the balance board, you'll be using both the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Those controls work just like the balance board, where you tilt to the left, to the right, forward, or backwards. So both control methods work really well. The game goes on for several rounds. In fact, it continues until the time in the top right corner runs down, which would be about two minutes. It does pause in between formations. One feature that really makes this game fun is the fact that you can bump into your opponents causing them to go flying in the opposite direction. That's something you definitely want to do if a player is about to score. Uh, so as you can imagine it's a really frantic and competitive mini game for up to four people at once. Like I said this is one of my favorites and I've played this one probably 50 times with friends. Starlight Swing is kind of a simple minigame, but for some reason I find this one pretty entertaining. Uh, the goal is to swing back and forth from a vine and collect as many stars that appear as possible. As you can see, the balance board controls have you leaning side to side to build up your swing. Of course, you do have to time your movements with your monkey on screen for the best results. You're also going to be holding the Wii Remote because you have to press up and down on the D-pad to move your monkey up and down on the vine. The game is also playable with just the Wii Remote. In this case, you'll be swinging the controller to the left and to the right, and of course using the D-pad to move up and down on the vine. I actually feel like the balance board controls work much better for this minigame, just because they seem more natural. Now, certain stars are actually worth more points. You have little star bits, some medium-sized stars, uh, glowing blue stars, as well as rainbow shooting stars, which are worth a thousand points. If you collect three of the glowing blue stars, for a limited amount of time, your points will be doubled. So it's a really fun game for four people at once, uh, you know, and it gets, again, it gets really frantic. Everybody's swinging back and forth trying to nab the, uh, the stars that are worth more points. So it's, it's a pretty fun one, but it is very simple. Round one. Ready. This game is called Sumo Smash. It's for up to two players. Uh, the goal is to try and bump your opponent off the platform by bringing down their strength bar in the top of the screen there. When you do that, you'll send them flying, as you can see right here. I'm not too good at this game, and there I go into outer space. Uh, the game continues on until one player has won twice, so basically it can go up to three rounds. Uh, naturally on the Wii Balance Board, it's all about pushing your rear end backwards to bump into the other player, and then leaning forward to dodge any oncoming butt bumping. Uh, if a player attempts to bump into the other player and misses, you're going to lose your balance and then leave yourself open for an attack. Uh, it can actually become a pretty strategic game between both players, because it's really about taking advantage of the other player when they trip up, so it's pretty intense. If you're using the Wii Remote to control, you'll simply flick forward to bump into the other player, or towards you to dodge. So uh, it's a pretty fun game. It's one that I've played a ton of times, 
with, uh, with friends and we take it way too seriously. Ready? Here's a mini game called Luge that controls with your butt. So you'll be sitting down on the Wii Balance Board to play this one. The goal is to lean left and right to guide your monkey down the slopes without hitting the sides. If you do that, you'll slow down considerably. It's a race for your best time, and so staying in the middle of the track is really important. Uh, this is actually the only mini game in Step and Roll where players take turns rather than all going at the same time. Uh, so if you use the Wii Remote now to control this, you'll be pointing at the screen and then twisting to the left and to the right to steer. This one is the easy track. There's actually a normal and a hard difficulty as well. Finally, let's take a look at Ladder Climb. I really like this minigame. It may be my second favorite in Step and Roll. Uh, the goal is for up to four players to climb the very tall ladder and reach the top of the stage to nab themselves some yummy bananas. Along the way, you'll have to avoid falling boulders as well as birds which fly by. Uh, if you get hit by something, you'll fall down a little bit, giving the other players a chance to pass you, so don't do that. Uh, the controls for the Wii Balance Board have you tiptoeing on the back of the board. You'll also need a Wii Remote and Nunchuck, which you use to dodge by tilting to the left or to the right. Each player's screen has a display which shows how close you are to the goal. Naturally, the higher up you are, the more difficult the obstacles become to avoid. I also quickly want to mention this minigame's music is probably the most unavoidably addictive music in any monkey ball game. I love the music in this minigame. Alright guys, so that wraps up this video tour for five of the minigames in Super Monkey Ball Step and Roll. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, I really think these minigames are of a higher quality than what they were in Banana Blitz, and there are quite a few that are pretty addictive to play. There's 21 of them in all, so even if you don't like a few of them, you're bound to at least like uh, a decent amount. Stay tuned to WeFolder.com for even more on Step and Roll.